my name is Philippe Atier. I'm from Haiti. Uh, I started painting at uh, around 11, 12, and now I live in uh, Florida. I've been living here for maybe six, seven years, and I've been invited to the, uh, the to this exhibition at the at, uh, Ovation Hotel, and uh, I'm very glad to be part of it. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about my my piece. My artwork. This one is uh, it's a lot of my work. It's about uh, the internal landscape, you know, uh, uh, like self reflection. Uh, you know, uh, take when when you uh, as human we have a, that tendency of uh, meditating, of you know, asking ourselves questions, and we want to know the purpose of our life and stuff like that. So a lot of my artwork has that in common. Uh, actually, this one is uh, my son, uh, also in it, and it's about finding a path. I've been inspired by a, a music uh, uh, by Nina Simone. I, I was listening to it, and uh, as soon as I felt the rhythm, I started having that picture in my mind of uh, somebody walking to find his path, you know, to find his goal in life. So uh, I really like doing portrait and uh, I met, uh, they, uh, he called himself the rat. I met him in, in Miami, he's a homeless guy. And um, yeah, we had, we had uh, I invited to my studio and uh, we spent a lot of time talking and he was telling me about his life and inspired me to do this one. And this portrait is a Haitian sculptor in Haiti called Sanon. It's, uh, it's quite known in Haiti uh, for his wisdom and stuff like that. Yeah. I got inspired by him. So this one is a it's a one piece. It's a three painting that I'm doing uh, right now. And that one is one of it. It's about um, uh, social conflicts that we have in Haiti. Uh, this one particularly about the language. Uh, we have people in classes in Haiti that have been being punished because they are speaking the native language. And nobody seems to be aware of that problem. They think it's normal, you know, because everybody expects you to, when you go somewhere, to speak French. And we don't realize what it does uh, mentally, you know. Uh, how you consider yourself when you don't when you when you consider your, your own language as inferior compared to uh, like French or English. Uh, this one is uh, called nostalgia, and it's a feeling that you, uh, especially in the Asian community, that you hear a lot uh, because you, especially now, it's hard to travel to Haiti because of uh, security problems. So you have people really wanting to go back to, to their world, to their country, to their origin. And the fact that they cannot right now, it's uh, very nostalgic. And this, this is inner life. It's about uh, uh, like internal trip. Uh, it's about self-reflection. It's about finding your, finding your own life. And this one is a uh, patriarch. It's um, basically from in my culture, uh, grandmas have a huge role in the community. They are pillar of the community. They are the one who are there when you when you want uh, people to somebody to take care of you. If you're sick, they're the one gonna they can see for you. So they are essential in the community. Oh, this is a uh, good message. It's my uh, maternal grandmother. And it's the same idea of, uh, you know, I've been always attracted by uh, wisdom and, uh, you know, that idea of having a grandma or grandma uh, being there for you. you know, I've been raised by my grandparents and uh, I always have uh, that as a reference in my head. So 
And actually, this one is called uh, Free Spirit. And uh, it's a old guy I met uh, in the forest in Haiti. And uh, he looked like a it's in, in the middle of the forest, like he was living by himself, and that's all I could see when I when I when I met him. That's why that's why uh, he was always every morning he was always uh, doing the same routine, taking uh, his little coffee and smoking by the window, and uh, yeah, it's a very emotional testimony because. Uh, I've been raised mainly by by him 